What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got a beer in my left hand, Lineage 2 Revolution in front of you. Don't worry about what's in my right hand. You don't want to know. I'm starting this video a little bit early because we've got some things to go over. Now, there are three real fights here for Fortress Siege. And this is number 34 in the series, by the way. Three real fights, all A-grade Fortress fights. That is phenomenal to see that happening usually it's b fights don't know when we're, when we're ever going to see an s grade fight but it may happen one of these days now one of these fights is yorza versus the kingdom of aiden that fight in my opinion and no offense to the king kingdom of aiden that fight is already done that's how i feel about it yorza has proven that they can handle just about anything that's been thrown at them so far their Temple Knight, Erolim, just absolutely destroys them in Holy Artifact imprint time. He's got 49 other people behind him. Good people, good players. They know what they're doing. It's difficult to beat Eorza. In fact, I don't think anybody can beat Eorza until they fight another pay-to-win clan with a Temple Knight as their leader. So I'm not going to be recording that one. Uh, the second reason I'm not going to be recording that one is because Miss Solo, and shout out to Miss Solo, happens to be in Eorza for that fight, she will be recording, and I will leave a link to her YouTube channel down below in the description, and also, if I can figure out how to do it, I will have it in my outro as a clickable item. Not going to be touching Eorza versus Kingdom of Aiden. The second fight was, and let's see if I can remember, it was an independent clan strip club. And whomever they're fighting, uh, it was a clan from the TSA. I talked to Strip Club leader who was down here. There he is right there. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive has gone over to Impact. Now, I haven't been told that Strip Club has joined the TSA. But when I talked to Jesus is alive, this person told me that their fight was not a real one. A lot of the Strip Club members have gone over to Impact. A few, maybe not a lot, but a few of their members have gone over there to help them out. I am guessing that it's not a real fight. So I won't be recording that one. So that leaves us with Ataraxi versus Impact. Ataraxi is part of the V3 Way Alliance, and Impact is part of the TSA. So let's go ahead and check out their combat power. There's Ataraxi at number one at 205 million combat power in totality for their clan at number three impact 202.1 million combat power in totality for their clan i am looking at a little under three million combat power difference so this should be a good fight now looking down there we got a yours at 197.6 as we keep going we don't see anybody. There's Strip Club at 146. Second page. There's Kingdom of Aiden at 139. So that tells me that's not really going to be a real fight. Perhaps Kingdom of Aiden decided to murk themselves out. I don't know. But 139 versus yours is 197. Yeah, that's pretty much not going to be a fight anyone's going to want to see. Unruly. That was the one that Strip Club, I believe, was fighting. They're at 138. Well, Strip Club, what, down here, it was 147. So I don't think that's a real fight either. And that pretty much is everybody of the three so-called real fights, but it looks like only this Ataraxi versus Impact is going to be a real fight. Now, let's see what Impact they are, the attackers. Let's see what they paid. So there's Strip Club and Unruly. Yeah, sure. There's Ataraxi and Impact. Impact, 86 million. 420,000, 420 Adena for the right to challenge Ataraxi for this A-grade fortress. And there is Kingdom of Aiden defending against Yorza. Not going to be. And they only paid 5.1 million. That's that's outstanding right there. That's like a nothing. That's like a B-grade fortress bid. This right here, 600,000. I mean, this can't possibly be a real fight. There's just no way. So this one, that is about standard for an A-grade fortress. That is outstanding. Let's head into the battlefield. All right, so I started this video a little bit early, so there's nobody here. I will be right back in about two and a half minutes when people actually start to show up. A hardened buff was going off, and I will see you in a couple of minutes. All right, I am back. We have one minute and 30 seconds left before the beginning of this battle. People are starting to filter in. I'm going to stick around here for about 
45 seconds and see if we can see Impact's leader pop in. I guess that Harden buff finally went off. 60 seconds before we begin. Still haven't seen her leader come in. All right, I got to head. Good luck to Ataraxi in their defense. I got to head on down here to the red team. Impact in the red. On the bottom, the attackers. I will be following them as per usual. Let's see if we can find... Less than 30 seconds before we begin. Let's see if we can find their leader. Uh, there they are. Looks like RZK. RZK. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And here we go. Adaraxi versus Impact. Force of Siege, number 34. Here comes Impact. Rushing up and taking out this eastern tower. The right side tower is gone. Left side tower is gone. Ataraxi's non-spawn gate destroyed. Okay, let's head on to see if uh, Ataraxi managed to do anything too. There goes Impact's non-spawn gate also being destroyed. Ataraxi has taken the 10% buff. But Impact has started imprinting. Getting a little time. Let's head on to the big battle for the 30% buff. Impact is trying to get their own Alter Imprint right now. Impact is defending pretty well over halfway. Interrupted. Not that well, apparently. Adaraxi coming out down here in force. Impact trying again. Impact getting a little more HA time. But interrupted on their alter imprint. And there goes both. Of the Holy Artifact Defense Towers of Ataraxi. However, imp Impact unable to get that 10% buff, but they're doing a good job of preventing Ataraxi from getting the 30% at least. Ataraxi, 1 minute 15 seconds left on their 10% buff. They're trying to get Impacts now. Interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Trying again. Impact trying for, the, for their own now. Interrupted. 45 seconds left on Anorexy's 10% buff. Impact trying again. Meteor showered. <laughs> Ataraxi trying for impacts. Interrupted. Ataraxi trying again. Also has what looks like is going to be a commanding lead and kills. Impact is doing a good job right now. Defending so far. We'll see how long that lasts. Ataraxi interrupted again. Two seconds left on Ataraxi's 10% buff. Both altar imprints ready for imprint. Impact getting more HA time. Impact. Interrupted on their own. Ataraxi over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. 10% buff for the next three minutes. Impact. Interrupted. Trying again. Impact over halfway. Interrupted. Looks like the spawn gate of Ataraxi has been taken down. So there's nothing left to destroy on Ataraxi's side. 
except for Ataraxi. Uh, so maybe Impact will come back and try to... Oh, there goes Ataraxi. Johnny Feller, there is Ataraxi's leader. Taken down. This Holy Artifact Defense Tower is about done. Side note, Jesus is Alive is a 5 million CP person. Definitely helpful for impact. Potentially Ataraxi over halfway on impacts. Alter imprint. Ataraxi, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute and 37 seconds. Not looking good for impact right now. Let's see how they will respond to this. They've got the lead, but it's a very, very small one. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. The red team's gate has been destroyed. There goes the spawn gate the of impact. Has been destroyed. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team RZK trying to get a little bit more time. Ataraxi, one minute, five seconds on their 30% buff. Ataraxi trying to smash through this spawn gate right now. Through the spawn gate area, I should say. And Impact did a good job at that choke point, holding it back. We'll go over here to the non-spawn side. Okay, looks like Impact is doing a good job of, of keeping them out of their HA area. 20 seconds left on Ataraxi's 30% buff. Looks like Ataraxi's are having a little bit of trouble trying to get to the Holy Artifact of Impact. Ataraxi trying for their own altar imprint now. Doesn't look like they're going to be interrupted. But they might be. One second. No. 30% buff. One minute, three seconds for Ataraxi. Impact trying to get... They got it to the 20 second uh, notification. That's got to be about five seconds or so. There goes a Holy Artifact imprint, a Holy, Holy, Holy Artifact, Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Impact. They've got one left. It's at full health. Impact is winning this battle so far in Holy Artifact imprint time for the tiebreaker. But the last time we saw something like this, the clan with the 30% buff, the constant 30% buff, ultimately won. Will that happen here? I think it's going to take a little bit for it to happen, that's for sure. Impact is trying to stop Ataraxi from coming in. Two seconds left on Impact's Alter Imprint. Who will get it? It looks like nobody. Bit of a fight here. Ataraxi trying to go for it now. No red here whatsoever. Interrupted. Good job there by, it looked like, Killian, potentially. Impact would love to get a 10% buff right now. And they are trying to do that. Interrupted. And are actually putting pressure on both the spawn and non-spawn gate sides. Ataraxi with 738 kills and counting, while Impact only has 305 in counting. That is a ever-increasing amount between the two clans. Ataraxi, interrupted, tried again, interrupted, trying again. Ataraxi, 
Adaraxi over halfway. Interrupted. Adaraxi, 35 seconds left on their 10% buff. Adaraxi interrupted again. Impact, getting more time. Ataraxi all by themselves on Impact's alter imprint. Interrupted. Impact got it to the 20 second warning again. Alright, Ataraxi trying for both alter imprints. Interrupted on their own, still going on Impact's. Ataraxi finally trying for the Holy Artifact of. Oh wow, and they're getting some time here. 10 seconds. Five seconds for Adorexi wins this battle. There's a ton of red here. Why can't they stop him? Oh, maybe Adorexi's leader disconnected. I mean, it looked like a win. There was a ton of red here, but they just weren't able to stop them. And then it counted down to the last second and, and then it stopped. I'm thinking uh, Adaraxi's leader inter got disconnected. That is unfortunate. Adaraxi having trouble getting an ulcer imprint now. Uh, let's see here. Watching the dots. Adaraxi trying for the roan. Impact trying for more time. There's RZK. He's got people with him. He's trying again. He's getting some time here. 15 seconds. Interrupted. He got a good chunk of time there, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Adder actually got the 10% buff for, the, for their three minutes at least. And they're trying to get impacts. Unable to do so. RCK, RCK got about eight seconds or so. Impact is definitely winning this fight still, although I don't know how the game is going to count that disconnect in terms of Holy Artifact imprint time, if it was a disconnect. I mean, they took it down to nothing. They weren't unable to follow through in the end. It had to have been a disconnect. Ataraxi, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute and 55 seconds. And they just let him waltz up there and take a little bit of life off that Holy Artifact Defense Tower before taking him down. That was kind of funny. All right, well, we'll come over here to the spawn gate of Impact where Ataraxi's trying to push their way back in. Big battle going on here. Bunch of red, bunch of blue. Not like you're going to see any other color other than red. Oh, there goes Blue. Keeping them occupied at the spawn gate. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower, the last Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Impact. Johnny Feller has died. Adaraxi keeping some defenders, but they're they're hanging around the holy artifact rather than trying to stop anyone at the gate. You see that a lot. Let's go back on down here. Adaraxi pulling a little open siegeness here, preventing impact, or trying to prevent impact from coming out of their spawn area. RZK still on the ground. I think they're up. I don't see their name anymore. Adaraxi going for their own alter imprint right now.
3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second, 30% buff in the next 46 seconds. Impact is definitely winning in Holy Artifact imprint time right now, but if they're going to try to defend against a 30% buff for the next 15 minutes and 22 seconds, that's going to be interesting, especially if they're not using reds to revive. Let's see what's going on down over here. Lots of dead people. That's what's going on. Anorexia is still trying to push their way in, keeping them occupied, keeping the eye off of the leader of Anorexi, who is over here. He is trying to make his way through. He's getting beat up, but he managed to break free. Well, Johnny Feller, you, you can't get Holy Artifact imprint time if you keep running away from the Holy Artifact. 30% buff for Adaraxi for the next 1 minute 53 seconds. This battle over here at the spawn gate of impact, it has to be a diversionary tactic by Adorexy. There is their leader, Johnny Feller. The red team has started impact. impact, getting more time. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Trying to follow Johnny Feller as he keeps swinging around in large circles. Here he goes up to the holy artifact of impact. And he has died. All of that for just tenths of a second. Maybe one or two seconds, I don't know, at this point. For victory. He is back up, though, and going at it. The interesting strategy here. He goes in, he runs out, he goes in, he runs out. He's getting beat up. He's back at it again. He got interrupted almost immediately. We got a great battle going on here. Great defensive battle by Impact. They know they're winning. Though by how much? Any, anyone, it's anyone's guess. They are being destroyed in the kill-death ratio, but they are doing a great job trying to keep this battle in their favor. Impact trying to go for Ataraxi's Alter Imprint and we're interrupted. Looks like the fight for Ataraxi's Alter Imprint is going on pretty heavily right now. Lots of red and blue up there. That are actually finally getting their own with 20 seconds left of their 10% buff. The red team Interrupted on their own. The red team has I tell you, every time I hear it, but I think every time you hear it and then, and then they get interrupted, that's probably one or two seconds at that point. 10% buff for the next three minutes. Impact's altar is ready to be imprinted. Impact is too busy playing defense right now. And 30% buff for the next 2 minutes and 34 seconds. That's that's a long time of a 30% buff for Adorexi to have. Let's see how they do this. Looks like over here at the non-spawn gate of impact, we've got a bit of a battle going on right now. Is the leader of Ataraxi going to try to come through the spawn gate now? 
while Impact is occupied at their non-spawn gate. Nope, doesn't look like it. There's Johnny Feller. Looks like he's running in circles again as he makes his way towards the Holy Artifact of Impact. And he's begun imprinting. He is all by himself. He's getting some time. Interrupted. That was about five seconds or so. He's He's got a lot of blue around him. Doesn't look like he's going to get anything else. Ten minutes remaining in this battle. There goes Johnny Feller trying to get some more time. He is all... Look at this. He's getting a ton of time right now. Ten, nine seconds. Seven seconds before Adam Raxi wins this battle. Four seconds. Two seconds. And again, at the last second... He's trying again. Doesn't look like he may get it this time. If anything, Adorax is winning in Holy Artifact imprint time. Eight seconds remaining. Six seconds remaining. Four seconds remaining. There is no impact here right now. And congratulations to Adoraxi for successfully defending their A-grade fortress against impact. Congratulations to Nobu for taking the number one spot in fact Adaraxi took one all the way up to 15 so, wow here are your stats wow that was a great effort by impact too many 30% buffs again it's hard to defend against that especially as time runs down and those resurrection timers go up and you're not willing to to use reds impact with a few dashes on their side those are your stats let us head into and see how the other two clans did strip club maintained it i kind of had a feeling considering i wouldn't be surprised if they made some kind of drug deal or if they are actually part of the tsa Adaraxi, one congratulations let me guess, you guys have won this battle. What a shocker. There you go. Congratulations to the winners of the three real fights. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I would appreciate anything you can give me. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.